Hey guys, what's up? It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Vivo V30e versus the Oppo Reno 11 f 5G and the Oppo Reno 11 f 5G is powered by new MediaTek Dimensity 7050 SoC with 8GB of RAM while the Vivo V30e is powered by Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 SoC with 8GB of RAM as well. On the back, we have dual cameras on the Vivo while on the Oppo, we have triple cameras. On the Vivo, we have a 50 megapixel OIS main camera with 8 megapixel draw wide. We have 108 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel macro, as well as a 2 megapixel, which is a depth sensor. And the back on both phones, it is made up of plastic. On the back, we have a matte finish on both phones, which feels really nice. It feels like a glass. And the frames also, it is made up of plastic. Also, you can see in the back, it is completely covered on the Vivo V30e. On the bottom, we have our USB-C with no headphone jack on both phones and both phones also has stereo speakers and Vivo also has a IP64 water and dust resistance while on the Oppo we have a IP54 I believe so in this video I'm gonna show you how it's a Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 on the Vivo V30e is gonna perform against the MediaTek Dimensity 7050 so without any wasting time let's see the boot up speed and logos came up slightly faster on the Oppo and Oppo it is also a 5G phone so also we have Android Android 14 Vivo Fun Touch OS 14 versus a color OS version 14 so the Vivo it is is faster when it comes to booting up and the Oppo it is right behind there we have a 2 second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up. On the Vivo we have 6.67 inch whole HD plus AMOLED which can produce up to 1 billion colors. Also we have 120 Hz refresh rate with a center punch hole on the top and the bottom chain even the side bezels it is very small. Also Vivo has a curved AMOLED display while on the other hand and Oppo also has a 6.7 inch whole HD plus AMOLED with 120Hz refresh rate also we have a center punch hole and the bottom chain even the side passes it is really small although we have a flat AMOLED display and now let's see apps opening speed and guys everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones opening up the phone dialer open up at the same time let's opening up the settings and that one it is open up way faster on the Oppo let's go to the display so you can see here is a 120 hertz refresh rate on both phones and now check out some more apps let's start off with the amazon shopping same wi-fi network of course both phones is open this app at the same time scrolling face really smooth as you can see and now let's open this tab and that is open up at the same time once again and now check out some games application and this way i'm really excited to see that how it's a Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 is gonna perform against the Dimensity 7050. Opening up the Candy Crush Saga. Slightly faster on the Oppo Reno 11 of 5G. Instagram. Slightly faster. Let's zip in out. Open up at the same time. Snapchat. At the same time. Spotify. About the same. Subway so Surfer. Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 MediaTek Dimensity 7050 so open up slightly faster on the Vivo so let me show the speakers on both phones so here's the Vivo looks like with max volume Vivo has 200% audio boost mode and here is the Oppo Reno 11 of 5G and Oppo has a ultra 300% volume mode so yes and the speakers it is slightly louder on the Oppo Reno 11 of 5G also has a slightly more bass let's opening up the temper and 2 and that one it is open up slightly faster again on the Oppo Reno 11 of 5G so looks like the mid attack It is slightly faster as compared to the Snapdragon. Let's opening up the PUBG Mobile. And now let's see that how. How is the Snapdragon 
6 Gen 1 is gonna perform against the mid attack. The Messity is 70 50, so Oppo it is a slightly faster. And also in that game, we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate on the Oppo Reno 11 of 5G versus the smooth graphics with ultra frame rate or extreme frame rate. I'm not sure about that. But in next days, you will see a gaming review of the Vivo V30e on my channel. Let's open X. Open up at the same time. Let's open Zedge. Open up slightly faster on the Oppo. I mean on the Vivo. Let's see the scrolling. And scrolling feels really smooth on both phones. Although on the Vivo, it not like 120 hertz like on the Vivo V30. Although we have a default 120 hertz refresh rate. And last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones. Default camera application open up at the same time almost and as far as the camp performance are concerned in my opinion the camp performance it is slightly better i would say on the vivo v30e let's look at the front facing camera and the front facing camera also i would say slightly more more better on the vivo v30e it looks more sharper okay guys now let's see internet browsing speed so i am using chrome on both phones wikipedia.org slightly faster Scrolling fees really smooth. Same thing zooming out. And now let's open this English. Open up at the same time once again. Next one tell us is the apple.com. And apple.com it is open up at the same time this time. Scrolling fees really smooth. No hiccups anything like that that I can see. And now let's see RAM management on both phones. And both phones has a 8 GB of RAM. Phone dialer still there settings still there amazon shopping that card refresh let's see candy quest saga again refresh instagram on the vivo instagram it is completely crash let's see pin out refresh on both phones snapchat that seems like refresh spotify seems like in-app refresh service suffer refresh Temper and 2 refresh. So RAM management looks at the end really bad even on the Vivo PUBG. That is still there. Let's open X. Zedge. In app refresh. Last way back to the internet browser as you can see. And cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed. As you can see that and the Oppo Reno 11 of 5G is performed slightly faster only in games. But as far as the system based applications are concerned, it is open up at the same time. So definitely uh, the mid attack density 7050, it is more powerful as compared to the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1. So in terms of the RAM wise in that area, and uh, the Vivo is performed slightly better in the RAM measurement, although the RAM measurement is really bad on both phones. And both phones also has a 5000 mAh battery size with the Vivo 44 watt super fast charging, while on the Oppo we have a 67 watt. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Vivo V30e versus the Oppo Reno 11 of 5G. And do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And follow me on Instagram as well as on X. And I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.